Nabat he was raised. In Fasag on the child, her protection and affection was bestowed. Of much understanding, he was endowed. With knowledge, he was by her provided. Enki, the child greatly adored, to read the writings of Adapa, him he taught. The priestly rites how to observe and perform the boy as a young man learned. In the 110th, Shah was Yusudra, also known as Noah, was born. In Shurubak, he grew up and espoused in Zara, and she bore him three sons. In his days, the sufferings on earth intensified. Plagues and starvations the earth afflicted. Now this is the account of earth's tribulations before the deluge, and how the mysterious Galzu decisions of life and death in secret guided. By the conjugations of Igigi and the earthling daughters, was Enlil greatly disturbed. By Marduk's espousal of an earthling female, Enlil was much distraught. In his eyes, the Anunnaki mission to Earth had become perverted. To him, the howling, shouting earthling masses, an anathema became. Oppressive, the pronouncements of the earthlings have become. The conjugations of sleep deprived me. So did Enlil. Sudra plagues and pestilences the earth afflicted, aches, dizziness, chills, fevers the earthlings overwhelmed. Let us the earthlings curing teach how themselves to remedy to learn, so did Ninhasak say. This by decree I forbid, Enlil to her retorted, in the lands where to the earthlings have spread, waters from their sources did not rise, the earth shut its womb, vegetation did not sprout. Let us the earthlings pond and canal building teach, let them from the seas fish and sustenance obtain. So did Enki to the other leaders say. This by decree I forbid, Enlil to Enki said. Let the earthlings by hunger and pestilence perish. For one shah, the earthlings ate the grasses of the fields. For the second shah, and the third shah, the vengeance of Enlil they suffered. In Shurubak, Zyusudra's city, the suffering unbearable was becoming. To Eridu, Zyusudra, also known as Noah, of the earthlings, a spokesman, journeyed. To the house of the Lord Enki, he made his way, by the name of his Lord he called. For help and salvation to him, he pleaded. Enki, by Enlil's decree, Fates were overtaken. 
raised in the public squares the people gathered. The creator of all to primordial days the heavens is returning. Voices from amongst the people shouted. On earth the tribulations were increasing, fear and famine their heads reared. For three sh facing were observed. By Nurgle and Ereshkigal, odd rumblings in the white land snows were recorded. The snow ice that the white land covers is sliding. So did they from Absu's tip report. In the land beyond the seas, Ninurta in his haven foretelling instruments established quakes and jitters at the earth's bottom with the instruments he noticed. An odd... Ya, ya, kwa. Ananaki. Ya, ya, kwa. Arm raised of calamities to the <laughs> king they forewarnings gave. The next time Nibiru the sun shall be nearing, earth to Nibiru's net force exposed shall be. Mars in its circuits on the sun's side shall station take. From the net force of Nibiru, earth in the heavens protection shall not have. Kisha and its host agitated shall be. Mars shall also shake and wobble. In Earth's great below, the snow ice of the white land its footing is losing. The next time Nibiru, the closest to Earth, shall approach, the snow ice off the white land surface shall come a-sliding. A watery calamity it shall cause. By a huge wave, a deluge, the Earth will be overwhelmed. On Nibiru great was the consternation, uncertain about Nibiru's own fate. Kings, savants, and counselors about Earth and Mars also greatly worried. The king and the counselors had decision made. For evacuating Earth and Mars, the Anunnaki must prepare. In the Abzu, the gold mines shut down. There from the Anunnaki to the Eden came. In Bad Tibera, smelting and refining ceased. All gold to Nibiru was lofted, empty, for evacuating ready, a fleet of fast celestial chariots to Earth returned. On Nibiru, the heavenly signs were watched. On Earth, the tremors recorded were. It was at that time that from one of the celestial chariots, a white-haired Anunnaki stepped off. Galzu, Great Noah, was his name. With steps majestic to Enlil his way he made, to him a sealed message from Anu he presented. I am Galzu. Emissary plenipotentiary of king and council, to Enlil, he said. By his coming, Enlil was surprised. No word from Anu of that did forecome. Enlil, the seal of Anu, examined, unbroken and authentic it was. In Nibruki, the message tablet was read. Its encoding was trustworthy. For king and council, Galzu speaks, his words are my command. So did the message from Anu state that Enki and Ninhasak be also summoned was Galzu's request. When they came to Ninharsag, Galzu pleasantly smiled. Of the same school and age we are, to her, he said. This Ninharsag could not recall. The emissary was as young as a son. She was as his olden mother. Simple is the explanation. Galzu to her said, by our winter's slumbered life cycles it is caused. Indeed, this matter is of my mission apart. About the evacuation, it is a secret. Ever since Dumuzi on Nibiru had stayed, returning Anunnaki on Nibiru examined were. Those who on earth the longest stayed by the returning harshly were afflicted. Their bodies to Nibiru cycles were accustomed no longer. Their sleep was disturbed. Their eyesight was failing. The net force of Nibiru waited their walk. Their minds were also affected as sons were older than the parents they had left. Death, my comrades, to the returnees quickly came. Of that, I am here a warning to give. The three leaders on earth the longest by the word silent became. Ninhasak was the first to speak. That much was to be expected, she was saying. Enki, the wise to her words consented. That much was clear, he said. In little, the anger was seized. Before the earth 
ยายากว่ายายากว่ายายายากว่า
ya kwa ya ya kwa ana na ki ya ya kwa message 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 ana na ki ya ya kwa message ha 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 ya ya kwa ya ya kwa message ya ya kwa Mrs. Ernaki ya ya gua. Mrs. 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 From Ernaki ya ya gua. Oh.